you go to ETS2 mods, right? Any any of those, right? And you, you get a bunch of sites that have mods, right? So you you find the mod that you want to try, right? This is the this is the one you want to try, or this one. Let's say you really love DHL, uh, so you want to get this, so you download the mod, right? When you download the mod, it'll come to you, right? Until you download, it'll come to you as a RAR file, right? R A R file. Okay, so what you do is you use something like on RAR for Windows, right? And you extract it. Now, what I do is I extract them to a folder called Crazy Mods, right? And this isn't all of them, this is just some of them, okay? And then the, it, it'll extract something that'll end in SCS, as in uh, Sam Charlie Sam. Right. There's a copy of my profiles, by the way. This is another thing you want to do. You want to copy your profile here. You want to go into most of what you're going to be doing is in your documents. In your regular documents, there's going to be a Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder. In it, there's going to be mod and profiles. You go to profiles, copy them. Copy them into somewhere else just to keep them safe. Right? But this mod folder, usually that is empty. That's where you want to put your mods into. So you take that SES file and you drag it into your mod folder. Okay? Once you do that, once you do that, you're going to open the game. Right? Let's see. All right. Once you do that, you're gonna open the game. You're gonna go to your profile, and you're gonna click Edit. And then once you click Edit, the mod will be listed here. Okay. And you go ahead and you click, you click on it, and you click Apply, and it'll activate the mod. Okay. Sometimes mods will not like other mods. Like for instance, we had a Volvo Buzz that killed all of the Evacos. You know, it made the vehicles disappear, uh, and that's the one that killed us earlier. Okay, these are all the mods. I